Sorry, I had a question. Uh -huh. um, and this is for everybody, because I'd love to hear other people's answers, too. Um, is, what was the most surprising response that you heard, and why was it surprising to you? And I wanted to pitch that to the audience as well. You've heard a lot of things, and you've read a lot of things. What surprises you in what you've heard? I'll let other people answer first, anybody? Yeah. The comment that surprised me the most, especially with long-term survivors, was how attached to HIV and AIDS their identity was. This is the first time I've heard, not the first time I've heard it with regards to HIV and AIDS, but you don't hear that with other illnesses like cancer or breast cancer or leukemia. And I think it's just really interesting how, you know, I think because it's really the history of what we went through. Mm -hmm. And I think that just really speaks volumes about the impact this disease has had on the gay community. And some people have had HIV their whole lives, right? Some people have been born with HIV. Um, and, and then also some people got infected when they were you know, fairly young. And you know, this for decades. So yeah. Anybody else? That was actually what was, I think, one of the most surprising things for me too. Um, was the first the, the first time I heard somebody say that. The other thing I think that surprised me a little bit were were. Um, kind of the, the demand for the 24 hour, yeah, I want somebody to be there in the middle of the night and I don't care and I'm doing this and they should do this for me too. And I thought, okay, well yeah, that's like a reasonable expectation to have when you're putting yourself on the line for something that's, that's pretty unknown. Um, but I, I was surprised at um, how much that, that came up for people that, you know, that I, I want that, the, the emotional availability that people wanted from the researchers. 